Hello everyone, this is Sunny. Welcome to Charismatic Gold. Today I'll be doing the book Power to Create, The Ultimate Guide to Eliminate Scarcity and Produce Massive Results for Yourself and Others by Tim Redmond. Tim Redmond is a Christian financial consultant, trainer, speaker, author. He does great things uh, helping Christians to grow in the area of finances, from the Bible. And the forward is by Dr. Miles Monroe, a man that many people revere greatly. He went on to be with the Lord. Um, and I have a cool video by Dr. Miles Monroe below that's actually gonna be a, also a good summary or another good way of teaching the material that I'm gonna be teaching right now. All right, so uh, I share about finances uh, once a month right now. And uh, I share it because I believe finances are important. Jesus talked about finances more than heaven and hell combined. And I don't know about you, but I've come to the point with a wife and a kid, uh, hopefully more, that, mo that money actually matters. <laughs> and uh, God has given us principles and we should not ignore those principles. All right, so here's the big, big, big verse in all of these Christian finance books. The big verse is uh, Deuteronomy 8.18. It says, but remember the Lord your God. For it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth and so confirms his covenant, which he swore to your ancestors as it is today. God gives us the ability to produce wealth. Okay, that's a big verse and we're going to go from there. So takeaway number one, the big thing in all these books is help others by creating value. Help others by creating value. Now there's a lot going on there. God values creativity. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Uh, God values creativity. We see him as a creator. We've been given creative power as well. And God val values helping others. He wants us to help others. He's thrilled when people are helping others. When we help each other and not just go everything uh, on our own. He's, he's thrilled. He loves it when he sees people working together and helping one another. So our job is to create value, help others. Don't chase the money but chase adding value. And then don't worry about that. Like other things will flow from there, including finances. But you all know that when you find somebody that's chasing money, um, they're not always the most pleasant people to be around. They're probably a little needy, leechy. They got to make the sale. They, they're trying to uh, shake the money out of you like some kind of like vending machine or something. It's, it's horrible. You don't want to be around them. But so, all right, so what we need to do, once again, is help others by creating value. So that's takeaway number one. The next four takeaways come from this one verse in Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion. And then he talks about other things. But, but there's four things in there. Uh, he says, God bless them and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it, have dominion. What's going on here? Takeaway number two, be fruitful. Be fruitful. We need to produce fruit. We need to produce results. We need to produce something like, uh, be careful, just don't misquote me, but understand what I'm trying to say. Like, uh, Apple produced uh, an iPhone, okay? That's a fruit that people are attracted to. It helps them and they rally around it. They'll, they'll, they'll line up um, like a day before or something like that to get a new release of it, which they could just wait a week and they'll get it easily. But they're, they're, they're that crazy about an iPhone, for example. Um, McDonald's produced what? A, a Big Mac, right? And so they produced it and it's something people love and they want and so they, they flock to it and it's, it's been like that for years. So uh, produce a fruit, Bill Gates and uh, uh, Windows, right? Um, so what, what, what is your thing? Like what, what is your thing? Mark Zuckerberg and a, and a Facebook. So you produce a fruit, you produce a product that people are interested in that it actually helps people. It's really, this is really important. And it has to actually, actually be good, tested, and approved. You know what I'm saying? So b producing a fruit 
is really important. Whether you're in the church, you're in your company, or you're going a solopreneur, whatever it is, you need to produce a fruit, something that people greatly, greatly, greatly value. It actually, actually helps them, and great things will happen. Okay, so be fruitful. Number two, be fruitful and multiply. First be fruitful, then you multiply. Because if you pr multiply something that is not uh, really great, if you produce something subpar, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say this in this video, but if you produce like garbage, I'll say garbage. Um, if you produce garbage and then you multiply it, it's not gonna help anybody, okay? It's gonna, it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work most of the time, right? Obviously there's exceptions. So we wanna produce fruit first, something that's fruitful, actually good, actually really, really good, really, really helpful. And then we work on multiplying, getting things out there, uh, producing, producing uh, sim uh, systems, you know what I'm saying? So we want to be fruitful and then we multiply. A lot of people just wanna multiply, you know, get their stuff out there on social media, but first you gotta make it good. And that requires a lot of patience, a lot of practice, a lot of recourse, a lot of reevaluation, a lot of humility to go back to the drawing board and, and work on that. So that's, that's really important. I gotta keep coming back to be fruitful, actually help others. And then you can work on multiplying. And then what? Be fruitful, multiply, replenish. Um, replenish, what's going on with replenish? So Dr. Miles Monroe would say it this way, replenish is basically to distribute, okay? Uh, I, I don't wanna disagree with Dr. Miles Monroe, and who am I? I'm not, I'm not like, you know, um, I'm not at his level, nowhere near it, but just, just from the outward observations, uh, replenish means to like fill again, right? So we fill it again. Uh, and so when you fill it again, you can fill it better. So what I see is course corrections, making things better as you have something good, but now you multiply it, you distribute it, you can make it better and better and better and keep replenishing, distributing, making it better. You can do those things uh, to, together. And so uh, McDonald's found a way to multiply things all over the, I don't know, first the states, then the country, then uh, the world, it, it's kind of like that. It helps to have systems after the fruits and to learn to distribute, learn to course correct uh, each and every time. I don't know if McDonald's really changed their Big Mac, but definitely they added to their menu and they, they practice and they work on things um, after they got something great. And then last but not least, Dominion. I'm a little uncomfortable with this word, but I get the concept that uh, you don't just want competition, but you want like dominion. And I, I do have a problem with that word, but let me try to renew my mind. God said to take dominion over the earth, and I understand the concept. Um, so here's, here's one way that I've learned it. There's a blue ocean and a red ocean. Uh, real, this is my real basic way of explaining it. If you say I uh, train people uh, to lose weight, Okay, that's very general, and that's like a red ocean. Like it, it's you know it's bloody. Like there's there's a it's a bloodbath in there. But if you say I help uh, CEOs in California in so and so county uh, to network and to work together and to have accountability and we create this fitness program to lose weights. Okay, that is a very niched down um, area, if you will. And so that's a blue ocean. Not many people are targeting that. Uh, my favorite was when this these, this couple trainer said, "This is our. This is what we do. Um, this is we're all we're all about these things. Four words: uh, lady boss, weight loss. So if you think you're a lady boss, you know what I'm saying. Type A, go getter. Uh, don't complain, but go get what you need. That that then we're on the same page. Weight loss, and this is what we need to work on: weight loss." And then what happens? Blue ocean. People are like, yeah, that's me. I want that. And they flock to the, this couple trainer. Does that make sense? And so we want a, a blue ocean. Does that make sense? We want a niche that not, not many people are going after. And we're gonna help this ocean right here. This is our area. We're gonna dominate this area. And then maybe later on you can grow that area. But make sure you get this area down, whatever this area is. I don't know about you, but the wheels are turning for me. I'm starting to get excited. So there you have it, five uh, takeaways 
Basically, it's two, but broken down, I thought it's really worth it to have it. I'll start from the top. Number one, help others by creating value. God's given us the power to create value, to create wealth, which is basically creating value and helping others in, in ways that they need. And so that's what we need to be focusing on. That, that's really, really, really huge. Focus on that. Uh, number two to, two to five, be fruitful. Make something great, make something super helpful, whatever it is that can help people. Make sure it's tested, time approved, and then after be fruitful, then you multiply, then you replenish, refill, course correct, distribute, and then uh, last but not least, dominion. Make sure then you can have like this domination. You'll be the go-to person in this area, whatever that area is for those people and you will have um, a great, great, great time. Obviously, there's gonna be some growing pains and every entrepreneur and financial guru, they all say that, that there were plenty of testing times for all of them. But uh, I think that would be helpful for you. Uh, definitely check out that Miles Monroe uh, video that I linked to and other great links below. Once again, this is Sunny from Charismatic Gold. Thank you for being here. We'll see you next time.